Martin Indyk is a two-time former U.S. ambassador to Israel. He's the director of the foreign policy program at the Brookings Institution and author of the book, Innocent Abroad. Welcome. Thank you for being with us this morning. Thank you. I, I know you knew Ambassador Stevens, um, the ambassador that was killed in the Benghazi attack. Mm -hmm. Tell us about him. Uh, Chris worked for me uh, when I was the Assistant Secretary of State for the Middle East in, in the second uh, term of the Clinton administration. Uh, he was then uh, the Iran uh, desk officer, uh, and uh, there was uh, hope for a period uh, of an opening to Iran, and, and uh, he was busily learning Farsi on the side in the hope that he would be one of the first American diplomats to be posted to uh, Iran if we were able to normalize relations and open embassy there. It was typical of, of Chris's enthusiasm, and, and I'm haunted by the smile on his face that has been projected um, by CNN and others uh, this morning of his official photograph. That captured Chris. He was always enthusiastic and, and cheery in everything that he did, and he always wanted to be on the front line. So it uh, was no surprise to me that, that when we opened up in Libya under the Bush administration that he was the first out there and that he stayed there uh, and worked with uh, the Libyan opposition to overthrow Gaddafi. Uh, he was a, a typical of uh, those diplomats like Ryan Crocker uh, or Robert Ford in Damascus who are keen to be out there in the field on the front lines risking their lives for the sake of promoting American interests. It's a, it's a terrible thing that has happened here and I really grieve for for him and, and, and for his family as well. Yeah, a well, wife and two children he leaves behind. Uh, President Obama just mm. spoke. He said there's no justification to this senseless violence, but he didn't throw Libya under the bus, so to speak. Was this the right thing to say? Look, uh, this was clearly not an in, uh, the intention of the Libyan government. Uh, many of them worked closely with, with uh, Chris and, and uh, depended on him. Uh, it was not in their interest to have him assassinated in this terrible way and I think that they've, they've been quick to apologize and, and I would hope that they would work quickly to to uh, crack down on and arrest those responsible. Uh, and by the same token this was no just mob lynching. Um, you don't uh, go to a demonstration with RPGs so there was some, something more organized behind this attack I suspect and, and it's very important that the Libyan government uh, get to the bottom of that and, and make sure that, as President Obama said, uh, they are the perpetrators of this horrible uh, assassination are brought to justice. Mitt Romney is accusing the president of initially being an apologist for these terrorists. He said that the president didn't come out with a strong enough statement. Um, do you agree? No, I don't. And, and I think it's a shame that that an issue like this should be should be uh, used as a political football uh, we sh uh, at moments like these it's just I, I think it's just not appropriate to get into a slanging match um, by either side and and I would hope that uh, out of respect for for the Americans that have been killed here that 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 the politicians would just pull back for for a, a, at least a day Ambassador Indyk thank you so much for sharing your thoughts with us this morning we appreciate it thank you I'm Carol Costello. Thank you so much for joining us today. CNN Newsroom with Ashley Banfield continues after a short break.